Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, where, I don't know, it's, it's just another day. Hope you all enjoyed my interview with uh, Fractal161, that was pretty cool. He's a legit Tetris champion, it's pretty fucking sick. To me anyways, it's pretty fucking badass, but uh, I digress. And, uh, um, I'm, I'm here starting another <clears throat> semester of school, so I'll be busy with that all unnecessarily stressed but just doing that shit um keeping up with all the podcasts and all the content hopefully i i mean i, I will I, i'll make sure to i know all you crazy cool cats and kittens love it <laughs> and uh uh yeah this job i'm doing it's doing all right but i got an email saying i might need to like get fingerprinted and uh I don't know if I can go get fingerprinted, so that's not a good sign. Like I'm already looking for other jobs. <laughs> and but if uh, y'all want to help out, sign up for the Patreon, patreoncom slash Uh Five dollars gets you episodes early, and uh, helps support me and my uh, my sadness and my laziness and my sickness of mental health. But let's get into the news, <clears throat> shall we? That's what I like to do here, right? Look at the news. Uh, wow, we where we at? No, is that right? There we go. Uh, this has been going on. A tunnel was found under the New York City synagogue. New York police discovered a secret tunnel under synagogue in New York City that allowed members of the Jewish sect Hasidic to attend the synagogue during lockdown. And there are like rowdy. Or- The, the Jews are just coming out of like the sewers and they're able to like sneak no, 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 from no, one synagogue no, no. to another. It's pretty, it's pretty wacky, like what's going on, you know, like the, <laughs> these cops against these Hasidic Jews. I don't know. It's, uh, that's weird that that's barely, had barely been found out. That, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen this footage, you can check it out on Twitter. I'm showing it a little here, but uh, yeah, these Jews are just battling these cops, and it looks crazy. It looks like some weird ass, like, uh, fight <laughs> buddy cop fighting movie, like a, a bunch of cops against a bunch of Jews, and uh, they're digging all these underground tunnels. That's, I don't know. That's crazy, uh, to think that and. You would just think <laughs> to be a New Yorker and just hearing a bunch of like things underneath your the sewers and you're like, what the fuck's going on? And there's just all these Jews like being tunneled from here to there. And some people are saying, you know, it's tied to, uh, you know, child sort of rituals. I don't know about that. I think these Jews are just uh, like being hidden underground. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird story. Very weird story. Uh, But kind of funny here to think about, uh, again, the Jews digging an underground tunnel. Like, I wonder, what were they using? Like, I I think, like, they're Amish. Were they using, like, wooden wooden tools, you know? Like, Minecraft style. But uh, I don't know. That's, uh, hopefully that keeps developing. Because, yeah, like I said, 10 people have been arrested for these underground Jewish tunnels uh next up here a new star wars movie is coming to theaters called the mandalorian and grogu and that's exactly what we need right a movie with the mandalorian who's pedro pascal which he can do no wrong apparently and the little baby yoda whose name is grogu but they call him baby yoda that's what everyone wants to see directed by john favreau who doesn't love john favreau he he did the first Iron Man movie. Of course, they're going to have him do it. I think he did Elf also. I think he did. So, yeah, he knows he knows a thing about Star Wars. I don't know. I, I've, I've never cared for the Star Wars films. I don't care what they do with them. I, I find them boring. And, uh, you know, all this, like, hype and people being disappointed and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, it's, I don't really care. It's It's just, like, whatever to me. Like, okay make a good make a good movie cool make a shitty movie all right cool like uh, do whatever you want like 
Uh, it's not not my franchise, uh, not my Star Wars. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, I had to pause there for a bit. Um, yeah, I, like I was saying about Star Wars, I don't care. Let's go ahead and do whatever you want with Star Wars. I don't care. Um, here's a fun little news headline. Taiwan's defense ministry mistranslating an alert erroneously saying China launched a missile. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so apparently, uh, China had launched a satellite into the sky, but Taiwan, uh, translated it as a missile launched to the sky, put out there as a warning uh, to, for everyone to be aware of missile flyover and everyone kind of tripped out because it's like, oh shit, China's fucking going to war. It's about time, you know, but no, nah, no, nah, it was just a satellite, which is probably even more dangerous coming from China, but I don't know. Who knows? They're the ones that are uh, ahead of everyone and uh, have their own little internet and uh, have a lot of kidneys on hand for for uh, donors. So yeah, I don't know. I, I was I was watching a little video about that. How they used to like take uh, like execute prisoners and then take their organs, and that's why they they have so many like an overabundance of like organs there to where people from here in America go over there to buy them. Or there's really like no waiting list over there for like kidneys and shit, which, uh, apparently costs a lot to buy like a hundred grand. Uh, but if you sell it, you can only get like five grand, which I think, yeah, there was a thing where like a Korean dude or something sold his like kidney for an iPhone, which was maybe 10 grand. So that was a pretty good, trade off there because <laughs> you could only pretty much get five grand but maybe it's the blood type i don't know i'm not in the market for a kidney uh my kidneys are still good luckily we'll see how long that lasts but uh <laughs> uh yeah i ain't gonna give these away or, or or i don't need money that bad i got i got some other money somewhere hidden my mattress uh Last thing I wanted to go over here, Pope Francis calls surrogate motherhood deplorable and calls for global ban. You know, I, I don't know. This is so weird that he's okay with like, uh, he's okay with like the LBGTQ and I think he's like fine with the Rainbow Brigade and all that shit, but he finds it deplorable of surrogate motherhood. He says, I deem it deplorable the practice of so-called surrogate motherhood, which represents a grave violation of the dignity of the woman and the child based on the exploitation of situations of the mother's material needs. A child is always a gift and never a basis of a commercial contract. And, okay, yeah, try telling that to uh, people on welfare. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's weird the Pope is cool with this and that, but not cool with that and this. So, yeah, really weird stance to take Pope. I don't know why they needed to come up. Uh, I don't know if someone asked him about surrogate motherhood. Uh, I, I know, you know, there, there's, there's specific things like if the mother can't have children and she wants like now with science, she could have her like egg be put into someone else's blah blah, blah and it'd still be her kid you know uh but there's someone like man who was it there was like a celebrity who just had uh a surrogate have her child just because she was always busy and never like able to like take like didn't want to have the time to do it but wanted to have a child and um that's a whole nother story when you're like uh a working female and you don't have the time to devote to a kid but you still want to have a kid and still want to be a mother like i don't know the whole i feel like the whole point of motherhood is giving birth to the child and uh of course it's like i don't know i guess an honor and a gift because there's a lot of women out there who wish they could have children naturally and they can't and now um with the aid of like science they kind of can have it synthetically with a surrogate but uh i don't know and and i get it if you're a surrogate mother you just want a quick 20 grand because you could spit out a fucking kid easy you know or quick 15 grand but 
I feel like a mother's a psycho if they don't get somehow attached to the child that they're holding for so many months. And that's why it always trips me out when women like just give up their baby like immediately after birth or whatever, you know, like it it's like uh, you held that for nine months. Why you, why'd you like hold it all the way to that point and then you just don't care? I don't know. Being a woman's weird. Being a human's weird. Being a man's weird. Being the Pope is weird. That's weird. Being the Pope. Fucking being weird. A little Pope with your little hat that looks like a, like a firecracker fuse. And I can just light it and you'll explode into like Pope fireworks. Stupid Pope. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, what do you think about <laughs> Jewish underground tunnels and the Pope hating on surrogate moms. Uh, what do you think about the new Star Wars movie with baby, baby, uh, what's his name? Grogu. 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 The baby Yoda. And uh, you think China is going to go to war? Uh, put in the comments yes or no if you think China is going to go to war. They're always ready for war, I feel. But yeah, I want to thank you all for listening. Uh, check out the podcast. That's all funny. Anywhere podcasts available. Check out my new podcast. That's all KFA with my buddy Gay. We just talk about wrestling. Uh, like and subscribe to that. Please. It's a fun show. Uh, comes out every Mondays on the YouTube channel. Check out youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. The videos, interviews, uh, you know, live shows like I do with uh, Mint Salad where we talk about movies every Tuesday. Tits and Ariolas. And uh, think about checking out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. $5 for everything. Help support the uh, podcast and uh, see bonus stuff, early access. And check out the website, retrohorring.com for exclusive That's All Funny merch, t shirts, stickers, uh, art prints. Or you just want to commission some great art from a great artist at Retrohorring on Instagram. I want to thank you for listening. Thank you much to my Patreon supporters. And take care. We'll get through this week. Let's get through this. Take care.